back to Rotary Rockets and our first 3D printed nose cone. Let's take a closer look at the development and printing process. To develop the nose cone, I used Tinkercad.com. It's a pretty easy CAD development system, especially when compared to other systems like Fusion 360 or Blender, which I actually find quite difficult to figure out. But Tinkercad is pretty easy. Now, the first nose cone I developed was really just a prototype, and it used a cone on the top and then a parabola that was underneath that. And then down here in the base, it just has a little reinforced area with some openings for attaching the parachute recovery cord. We did print this one off just as a test, and here's the time lapse video showing that printout. Later, I found that Tinkercad actually had the OGIV shape available in its library, and that makes for a really good and pretty standard design for a nose cone. So here's the OGIV cone shape. We've got it placed over the base assembly that slips into the rocket body. I did a couple things in here. First of all, I put these little reinforcing ribs just to help strengthen that area. That may not be necessary, but I just wanted some extra strength down in the bottom. Just because the parachute recovery cord is there, and there's a lot of stress on that bottom area when the nose cone ejects and the parachute pops out. And then we've got these four pieces here that meet up in the middle and some little holes that are beside that and that's for an area for attaching the parachute recovery cord and we just came in from all four sides just for added strength in that area so we went ahead and printed that and that's the black one that I showed you at the beginning of the video and here's the time-lapse video for that So the nose cone came out very nice. You can see down here on the bottom the four little holes for attaching our parachute recovery cord. And this sleeve on the bottom will fit nicely into the four inch cardboard shipping tube that we use for our rocket body. Now this is going to be going on a new rocket that we're developing that's larger than our previous ones. And that's why we wanted this longer, more tapered aerodynamic nose cone. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we've got a nice rocket and a brand new motor that we're developing that's the largest motor yet. And it's also going to be our largest rocket that we've ever done as well. So hopefully that will be coming soon and we'll have some good video for that as well. And that's why we developed this nose cone. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.